better, Keen. Not looking forward to the little party I've got planned for you. You're a fool, Ferguson. I don't know what you got in mind, but they'll know it was you. You got it wrong, Keen. I'm not going to do anything, but you're going to have a little accident. Oh! Sure. How are you going to explain me having an accident up here? Easy. You broke away from me. Came up here to try and escape. You might have made it too, but you slipped and fell. Tragic. Long way down, isn't it? Goodbye, Keen. Oh, no, you don't, Keen! Oh! Help me! You've got to help me! Suffer, bitch. What did Sister Hall have to say? Oh, it's just a shoulder strain. Won't keep me from my duties, though. Glad to hear it. Now, what were the two of you doing on the catwalk? I was escorting Keen to solitary. She made a break for it through the safety doors. I tried to stop her, but I slipped and fell. <laughs> what a load Quiet, of... Quiet, Keen. You'll have your turn to speak in a moment. You say Keen was trying to escape? That's right. Then why didn't she? You were certainly in no position to stop her. She obviously thought better of it. A large point in her favour, especially since she ran to get help, wouldn't you say? I suppose so. Right, King, what do you have to say about this? Instead of taking me to solitary, she dragged me out on the catwalk. She fell all right, because she was trying to push me over the edge. <sighs> That's a lie. She only went for help to cover herself. <laughs> Didn't expect anyone here to believe me. I believe in facts. And until I get all the details, I'm going to keep an open mind on this. Take him back to solitary, Mrs. Barry, and I'll need a report from you and anyone else involved. Yes, of course. Don't panic. There's no one in the corridor. What are you up to? I'm making money, lots of it. Yeah, me too. Nev bought the stuffing. I reckon I ought to clear 20 bucks by the time I sell this. 20 bucks, eh? What does that say? I killed once, 50,000 or I'll kill you. I wait orders? You're kidding. Am I? Thanks for the escort, Miss Ferguson. Can manage on my own now. You're pretty clever, don't you, Keen? Well, I can imagine how Desmond will feel about sharing with the likes of you. Ah, oh, Mara and I are the best of pals, haven't you heard? Who do you think you're fooling? Everyone. Not me, you're not. Yeah, but you don't count anymore. You see, Myra and her cronies figure I'm one of the girls. And the governor thinks I'm shaping up to be a model prisoner. So do the screw. Sorry, officers. Don't underestimate me, Keen. You might win a few rounds, but you'll never win the game. Don't bet on it. Nobody believes anything the freak says anymore. Finished out there. What's next? Uh, uh, just take that boiler out of the stove and empty it into the sink. Yeah, right. Pity we don't have a few gentlemen around here to do the heavy lifting. Look, if, if it's too much trouble, leave it, leave it. Okay, don't get your knickers in a knot. What are you trying to do? Do yourself in or something? There's oil all over the floor Look, here. If you keep on interrupting, I'll never get lunch ready in time. No. You're trying to help. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Yeah, well, that's bloody hot oil in there. Just what were you planning? Scarring me for life? Oh, I'm so sorry. What is your angle? Nothing. I didn't wish to do it. Miss Ferguson, she made me... Yeah, that'd be right. Freak's got to stay lily white or Renault will sack. So she's getting others to do her dirty work. What's she got on you? Oh, it's Michael Linson chocolates and some shampoo and now she's threatening to get me set or even get into jail. Yeah, it's her style, all right. 
You're pretty scared, aren't you? There is a way out of this. But it means you backing me. You mean... Well, of course I'll help you, but... <laughs> I'm not good at fist fighting. Yeah, well, we're not fighting with fists, are we? But if you sign a statement explaining the freak's blackmail attempt, we get it into a safe deposit box, and then we tell the freak about it. What, what, what good will that do? You don't know her very well, do you? There's only two things that matter in her life. Her old man and her job. She's not going to risk losing her job for either of us. Not just taking a risk leaving you in charge of the cooking. It's only food for the officers. Glad to see you're enjoying kitchen duty. Oh, I'm glad you rostered me here too. It's been educating. Interesting reading, wouldn't you say? It's only a copy. Ray's taken the original to a solicitor. Dreadful, isn't it? You just can't trust people nowadays. You won't get away with this. I'd say I already have. It's only your job at risk. Why does it always have to be me? It's about time you lot learned to stand on your own two feet for a change. I thought that's what top dogs are all about. You're pretty good at sorting out their problems, Keen. Why don't you wipe their snotty noses for them? What's got up here? Here you go. <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I caught Bobby with some uppers today. Do you know someone's peddling drugs around the prison? Who do you think it is? Kelly, who else? Yeah, wouldn't put anything past that bitch. What are you going to do about it? I can't do a damn thing until I can prove it. I came within an inch of bashing the living daylights out of Bobby again. You want to talk about it? I just don't know what's happening to me. I don't seem to be able to handle these women anymore. Yeah, well, you want some advice? Yeah, like what? If you ask me, you're too easy on them. They want a top dog, but they don't want a top dog telling them what to do. It's bloody ridiculous. Oh, well, I'm glad someone else sees it that way. Surprised at you, though. I would have thought you'd hate my guts after everything I've done to you. Mm. All heart, that's me. And I'm too old for the job. The only thanks I ever get is kicks in the teeth. Now, listen, they respect you, and they want you to be boss. They're like kids. You come down a bit heavier on them, and they'll respect you. I would have thought I've been too heavy on them. No way. You're doing all right. You want some help? I'll stand by you. You mean that? Wouldn't waste my time saying it if I didn't. Well, you'll be glad to know if that's the case. I'm stepping down as top dog. Oh, oh Mara, you can't do that. And my last job as top dog is to name my successor. Oh, They're all yours. Well, anybody got any complaints? Um, Reb, what's the story with the uppers? Enough for everyone. Keep your voice down, will ya? Why should I? I got nothing to hide. This time it's legit. No rip-offs, just plenty of goodwill all round. Will you still be dealing? Yep. She's she rip off her own bloody mother. Yeah, well, I'll make sure she doesn't. From now on, this industry is strictly government control. Good quality, fair profits all the way. If you were caught with his jocks around his ankles. <laughs> oh, come on, Kane. They already tried that on me, remember, and it didn't work. Yeah, well, I'm organising it this time. Desmond's mistake was that you weren't interested in the bait. I happen to know who Murphy's got the hogs for. Who? Leave it to me. I'll fix it. As long as you can make sure you get a witness there tonight on his night shift. Have to be earlier. Murphy's off at 5.30. Huh, even better. Well, four eyes herself can be the witness. If you can get her there. Oh, I'll get her there, Keen. Just you make sure that there are no slip-ups. The freak and I have worked out a way to give Murphy the big shove. Right, what have you got planned? Nothing you need bother your tiny mind about. You just stay away from loose cell in wreck period. Can we help? Now, wait a minute. If this is going to affect all of us, we have a right to know. If the freak happens to be walking along... Now, listen. I didn't ask for this job. But I accepted it, so I'll give it my best shot. You want to question the top dog? Get another one. You want results? We'll do it my way. <laughs> Where is Kelly? I ask your question, Keen. In her cell, I suppose. What's she doing there? She should be here. Go and get her. No way, three's a crowd. 
<laughs> what do you mean, three? Who's with her? Come on, Keen, what's she up to? Oh, I reckon she'd be looking at the cell ceiling about now. <laughs> Will somebody give me a straight answer? Is she with a member of the staff? Well, I'd say the big turkey's stuffed. <laughs> we'll celebrate with some free coke all round. Oh, yeah. Courtesy of Lou Kelly. Free coke? Are you serious? Of course I am. Come to my cell after dinner. Excuse me, would someone please tell me what all this is about? Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, Pix. I'm a bit confused myself. Well, at least we got rid of Murphy. Past. Oh, relax. Looking forward to the free drugs? No, I'm not into drugs. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Now, uh, I've got this idea for an emergency fund. Well, we could use it to uh, pay off screws, someone loses their buy-up, that sort of thing. Great. Where does the money come from? Well, that's where you come in. Um, I'll only take 20% of your winnings. 20%? Forget it, that'd break me. You're not listening. I said 20% of your winnings. That's fair enough, isn't it? I suppose. Okay. Let's seal the deal. Open the jam fancies. What do you say? Yeah, thanks. I've got to go race. Oh, I'll come with you. Here, take one for later. Thanks. Might give some to Ozzy. Whatever you've lost, it must be important. It is. What are these? What do they look like? You've been lacing those and just shoveled one into my lane. Settle down, you've got your wires crossed. Oh, not anymore, lady. You really sucked me in, didn't you? All that garbage about giving away the records, you're bloody running them. All right, ten out of ten. Where does it get you? I'm the one with the juicy bone, you're the runt in the litter. The women. The care. women will do what I say. The top dog gives them what they want. And for that, they'll lick my boots. Not when they hear about this, they won't. I'll go into to your yank mate, she's the only one who'll listen to you. Don't you bet on it. I can just hear it now. Mara wants a job back with a bunch of sour grapes. You are scum, Keen. No, I'm top dog. Slobber off to the geriatric department, Grandma. Metal gymnastics are too much for you. You see, I'm top dog today, next week, and as uh, long as I'm here. Got it? Mara, tell you about the biscuit. Look, I'm really sorry about that. I didn't mean to make you sick. I just thought it'd be a nice surprise. Well, that's what I tried to tell Rip. Yeah, well, won't happen again, eh? All right. Run along, get me those fags now, will you? They'll just think you're gone to the loo. Okay. Oh, and, uh, no hard feelings, eh? No. Look, uh, Myra's done a lot for me, and, uh, I don't like to see what's happening to her. The lies, the violence. What violence? Well, the bashings a while back. Are you saying Myra was responsible? <clears throat> we wouldn't say anything then, and even now we deny it officially. But she's sick, really sick. I'd say she needs help, maybe even hospitalization. You're not leaving, are you, King? I've got a little surprise for everyone. I hate you to miss out. Oh, good. Is it bigger than a bread box? Nobody gets hooked on that stuff. It's my Walkman. Yes, it is hers, isn't it? What's going on, Myra? Just a little conversation between me and your leader. A here. private conversation? That's what they said about water. Well, I want to hear it anyway. Well, that's not the way I want it. They'll need the hard stuff. Oh, very smart. What does that prove? Oh. What do you think it proves? You've flown it, Keen, with everybody. Well, what the bloody hell do we do now? Nothing's changed. Oh, pig, she's going to take over as top dog I'm again. I'm top dog. And I won't be stepping down for Desmond Bright or Margaret Bloody Thatcher, got it? 
Yeah, but how are you going to get the women on side? They're not going to like you after that tape. They don't have to like me, as long as they're scared of me. Thanks for looking after things, Kane. Pigs, yeah, rack off. Oh! Well, I'll give a win. All right. Righteous, stupid bitch. Have the press, big deal. But I warn you, all of you, you'll be top gun for a bloody long time. Will you? No one who dubbed you into the governor? That's a lie. It's a vicious lie. Oh, no, Keen. You'd turn yourself in if you thought it'd get you anywhere. You bitch. You saw me out on your own record. I'm bloody kill kill you. Out, Kelly. Oh. You all right, Desmond? I'll live. Were you surprised at you, Keen? Bashing a prisoner, wrecking a cell, pushing dope. Shut up, Ferguson. I might just tell somebody to post a letter. <laughs> I don't think so, Keen. You see, I've been having a little chat to a friend of yours, and you know your little friend doesn't like you anymore. You're on your own, Keen. You're finished. Bitch! Oh. Thank you, Keen. You've just done me a huge favour. You've earned yourself a trip to Blackmore. But first a little stint in solitary, eh, to cool off? Now do I have to drag you there? Thanks. I know the way. Put your knife out for me from the minute I came into this dump. <laughs> You're wrong, Keen. To me, you were just another bit of scum then. But I got to know you, didn't I? And now you owe me. You owe me for my father, for my job, and the million little things I've had to take from you. You owe me, and I'm gonna collect. Nice stuff. Could almost feel sorry if I didn't know what a crooked, two-faced bitch you really are. Whatever I am, whatever I've done, I'm never hidden behind a law the way you do. You're a joke, Ferguson. You wouldn't have the guts to face anyone without that uniform. Okay. Oh, Keen. You're after Blackmore in the morning. But that's not the end. <laughs> Your troubles are just starting. You see, I've got some very good friends at Blackmore. And I know they're going to make you feel real welcome. Yeah, well, I'm not finished yet, bitch. Listen, freak. I'll be back. I'll be back for you. You hear me? What's all the secrecy about? It's Reb Keen. Keen? You were right about her. Trouble all the way. First I thought a bashing or two would pull her into line, but she just kept coming back at me. She's got guts, I'll give her that. Problem is, I went a little too far. She ended up in the hospital. The women in Blackmore hated her guts. Sounds like you did a pretty thorough job. Not quite. If she recovers enough to spill her guts, the department won't be able to ignore it. They'll investigate it and... You know the rest. That's why I'm relying on you. But if she's tucked away in a mental asylum then somewhere... Then you haven't heard. Heard what? Reb Keen's going back to Wentworth, Joan. I want her dead. Someone like to sign for her? Uh, stand on the white line, please, Keen. Huh? Oh, it was nice talking to you. No worries. Come on, Keen, you heard what Mrs Morris said on the white line. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Barry? Oh, 
Good to meet you. I'm in, Keen. I wish I could say I was pleased to see you again. Reynolds. Mrs. Reynolds, isn't it? Yes. I knew I'd been here before. I just knew it. Mrs. Reynolds and Mrs. Morris and Mrs. Barry... Don't play games, Keen. We had more than our fair share of trouble last time you were here, and I'm going to make sure nothing like that happens again. If you cause any disruption at all, I'll be requesting your immediate return to Blackmore. Do you understand? Uh, do I have to go to solitary? Not if you don't cause trouble. Why did you ask that? Oh, I don't know. I just, um, I just thought... I felt a bit scared for a minute and I thought I didn't want to go there. Keen, I'm warning you, I won't tolerate being made a fool of. One step out of line oh, and I, I promise you... I didn't mean it to sound back. like that. Mrs. Morris will arrange to have you taken to your cell and you can join the women for dinner. You start work in the morning. Can I skip dinner? I'm not hungry. If you wish. Mrs. Morris, come along, Keen. Oh. You'll be sharing with Nora Flynn. That's me. Oh, Nora, this is your new cellmate, Reb Keen. You can answer any further questions she might have. Hello. Myra? Nora. Nora Flynn. Oh, sorry, I thought for a minute. You know, this cell, I, I reckon I used to be in this cell. When you were here last? Yeah. You've come here with a big reputation. They tell me you're the type who doesn't make too many friends. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. I don't remember too well. Yeah, well, things are a bit different here now. We've got a council that runs things and the governor's on side. So we don't want anyone stuffing things up. You, I don't want any trouble. Nor do we, so remember that. I think uh, faces and names. Myra. Yeah, where's Myra? Myra's not here. She was killed in that Ruth Ballinger incident. I'm sorry. She was top dog, right? Right. Now it's my job. I give everyone the chance to start off with a clean slate. The same applies to you. I don't care what you did when you were in here before, but now you answer to me and the council. You got that? Oh, whatever you say. Well. Look who's back. Good day, Brim. Business getting a bit quiet for you over at Blackmore, eh? Tell me to muscle in, have you? Oh, I'm sorry, but my memory, it's not too good. Who are you? That's a good one. Who am I? Very bloody innocent. Oh, I didn't mean to say anything wrong. I'm sorry. I'm telling you who I am. I'm the one running the rackets around here these days, Keen. So if you've got any ideas about moving in, forget it. Oh, look, I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't, I don't want anything to... Yeah, well, you'd be smart to keep it that way. Your history, Keen. Stay out. Let's get out of here, Lou. We don't want to get sprung. Yeah. All right. Jeez, there's something weird about her. All that stuff about not knowing us. It's like she was someone different. Bitch is just trying on a con. Just like old times. She's taking everyone for a ride. Hello. I'm... I'm Reb. Come and meet everyone. This is May. Or, uh, Auntie May. Hello, love. This is Jenny. And Eve. Hi. That's Willie. Something wrong? I remember someone. Used to play the piano. Um, a, a big woman with grey hair. Willie, you old tart! You said you.
did you come and do the sewing? Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, I'm, um... Yeah, know who you are. Lexi, maybe you can help. She remembers someone who used to play the piano. Big with grey hair. Oh, that'd be Jude old fat stuff. She's gone, she got out. Oh, gee, everyone's gone. <laughs> can hardly remember any of you. No reason why you should. We were all transferred here after you left. Oh, oh thank God. I thought I was going crazy again. <laughs> oh, I should explain. I, I've been in a me mental home, but I'm fine now. I'm all right now. Well, we won't hold that against you. Will we? Oh, no. Oh, look, uh, I'm sorry. But you uh, get on with what, you, what you're doing. That's Reb Keane. Well, Keane, nice to see you back. Oh, I'm sorry, I... I think I know you. Me? Of course you do, Keane. We're old mates. We go back a long way. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I... Yes, I heard you were having a bit of trouble. Now, why do you think that is? Oh, well, I don't know. You see, um, well, I... Now, you must remember my father, Keane. You two were very close. Maybe. He's uh... dead, Keane. I thought you'd like to know that. I'm sorry. You will be, Keane. You will be very, very sorry. You see, I know what you're up to, and I don't buy it. You and I have got a lot of things to settle. But they'll keep. I just keep getting these flashes that I can't make any sense out. Oh, they come and they go. I can't put them together. I don't have all the answers for you, Reb, but I'll help you if I can. As long as you don't take me or the others for fools. Well, why should I? Look, I know some of those women don't like me, but why? They look at me as if, as if they're scared of me. When we heard you were coming back, we got the rundown on your past. All right. Well, what have I done? Drugs, bashings, you name it, you were in it. And you didn't give a stuff about anyone. That's not the way I like things run here. If you're on the level about not remembering things, then we're on your side. But if you're lying, then you've got big problems. I don't remember. Look, that woman, she... She's not me. Can't have forgotten everything. Come on, tell me, say anything you remember. Well, I don't know. I, I just get... Something bad, something bad happened to me in here. Was it a Blackmore? No, 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 I had friends at Blackmore. I think. Oh, God! Why can't I get anything straight? Ferguson. That officer, Ferguson. She said we were mates. She said I was friends with her father and that, that he's dead and that I don't even remember anything about him. Now, you stay away from the freak. She's bad news. Look, something did go wrong for you here. The freak, she bashed the hell out of you and put you in hospital. Now you keep away from it for your own good. I mean, you've never used the press before? Should I have? No, I guess not. Here, I'll show you. Just put the sheet here. Can you bring the hands down like this? No! No, don't! Please, no!
is she? Some basher? No sign of it. More like she just fainted. Well, do we take her to sick bag? I want to know why she took off in the first place. I think we should find out for ourselves first. Come on, give us a hand. We'll take her back. Hey, not so fast. That was quite a shock you had, whatever it was. Oh, I saw something. Where are we? Thor in the laundry. We were till he took off. I was showing the press, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember. Hey, what's going on? It was like you'd seen a ghost. Maybe I did. What? Oh, nothing. I'm sorry I nicked off on you, Nora. I saw something. What happened to you on the stairs? I don't know. I'm, I'm climbing up the stairs and I... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. And the... Oh, why can't I remember anything? Hey, come on. There's no need to panic. <laughs> we'll get you there. It might take some time, but we'll get you there. I keep getting these glimpses, see? It's like I'm looking through this old scrapbook, see? All these things I should remember, but I can't. Oh, Nora, don't let me take me back to that mental asylum. I'm not mad. I know it's just like I can't put things together. No one's putting you back there, all right? Well, come on, we better get back to the laundry. May and Willie can't explain us away forever. Ferguson. The freak, what about her? She's on the stairs. She said she was going to push me over the edge. The freak was up there with you? Oh, yeah. She's there with me. She's going to kill me. I said she heard you yell at her. Look, we better get back. I'll chase us up once we get back to the laundry. Now, come on. She's going to kill me. She's going to kill me. I'm sure. Either you admit the incident was a fabrication or somehow explain how Miss Ferguson managed to be in two places at once. Well? Well, uh, um... I don't know. I, uh, see, I can remember being on the stairs and then, um, and then I don't know. I, maybe someone else was there or... Um... Oh, you are lying. Oh. We're all aware of the problems we've had in the past with you and Miss Ferguson. There's no point in pretending otherwise, but I will not have it happening a second time. Look, I'm not trying to be trouble. See, I've got these things going in my head that I reckon I've seen before. I know you've been through a difficult time and we're all trying to help you as much as we can. However, I cannot condone lying. Hey, look, if I'm so much of a hassle, why don't you send me back to Blackmore? You see, all my friends are there and, and maybe they can help me get over this. I'm afraid that's not possible. Well, why not? If I'm so much trouble, you said so yourself, and, and then everyone... It's just not possible. Oh, look, you've got to send me back, or I'll go crazy. I'll, tell you, I'll turn into a Please. loony. Look, I want to go back to Blackmore. Why won't you send me because back? if I do, they'll kill you. Kill me? They already tried once. That's how you ended up in hospital. The department thinks it'd be too dangerous to send you back. They're my friends. Aren't they? I'm sorry, but that's not what your file says. From the day you arrived at Blackmore, you were in constant trouble. Not only with the officers, but also with the prisoners. Kane, I want a word with you. What about? Why did you have Flynn tell Mrs. Morris that I attacked you? Oh, I don't know. I, I thought you did. I was with the governor. Now, did someone attack you? Someone you thought was me? Yeah, well, it must have been. Where? What happened? Well, uh, I was on the catwalk, see? And? And, um, there was someone there on the stairs. Behind me, I think. Oh, no! No, it couldn't be! No, you attacked me! You tried Very to push me over! Thing. That all happened a long time ago, and it was you who attacked me. Me? Yes, you very nearly killed me. Oh, no. You remember Blackmore? Yeah. Well, what happened there? Um, they, they sent me to the hospital to make me better. Why, were you sick? Well, I must have been. And how did they make you well? Uh, doctors. They had good doctors there. Did they give you ACT? Oh, I, I'm not sure. Um, the pills, I remember the pills. What else do you remember? Of friends. You see, I thought I had these friends at Blackmore. What about but... Cynthia? Do you remember Cynthia Leach? Uh, is she a friend of mine? Do you remember her? Look, I don't! Who is she? Just a friend. Oh, and, uh, 
Thanks, Keen. You've given me all the answers I want. Reb, mind coming over here? No. I've just been talking to Mrs. Morris, and it seems when Reb left Blackmore, they put her through a course of electric shock treatments. What? Which would probably account for why she can't remember things. Hey, is that when they stick oh. them wires on your head and turn the switches on? Uh, not exactly. You poor love. They don't still do that to people, do they? It can help sometimes. It's called electroconvulsive therapy, ECT. Oh, Miss Ferguson asked me about that, and I couldn't remember. How could you let them do something like that to you? I couldn't. Didn't they give you a choice of other treatments, or at least tell you about them? Other treatments? No, just ECT. That's what it's called. That Miss Ferguson, she reckons that I've got this friend at Blackmore. Well, maybe she could help me. Who? Cynthia. Uh, Lester, or... Uh... Not Leach. Yeah, Cynthia Leach. She's my friend. Rib, Cynthia Leach is a screw. She makes the freak look like Doris Day. A screw? Oh! Oh, no! What is it? Oh, no! No, please! Oh, She's going to have her name up in lights one day. Jennifer Hartley, best piano player in the world. Hartley? Yes, why? What are you, any relation to the Mrs. Hartley of Stonehaven? She was my grandmother. Did you know her? Oh, not really. She was a client of my father's. He's a stockbroker. How did you remember that? I don't know. It just sort of came. Oh, do you remember anything else about your family? Well, I remember my mother was beautiful. And my brother, he was... Well, we used to get on really well. I don't know why they haven't come to see me. I suppose they think I'm still in hospital, eh? Well, why don't you phone them? Let them know you're here. Could I? Of course you can. I mean, they're your family. They're important to you. I understand you want to phone your mother. Yeah, well, I was told I had a right to. Look, I'm sorry, but we've made some inquiries. I'm afraid she's gone overseas. Oh. Well, what about me dad, then? Uh, he doesn't take holidays. He'd be home. I'm afraid your father died some time ago. Your mother's remarried now. Oh. I didn't know. I understand she's overseas with a new husband. What are you talking about? Uh, Neither do we. Oh, all this garbage about her brother. Yeah, well, it's true. Oh, yeah, sure. I bet she'd be dead keen to find out about your old man. Get it? Dead keen. Yeah, well, what do you mean? Know what I mean? Your brother's dead. He's dead as a doornail. You killed him when you wrapped that car around a tree. I know. That's why your mum and dad wiped you. You murdered your own brother. I know. Now I've heard it all. You pretending you didn't know your brother was dead. <laughs> but you're dead keen, because you killed him in that crash as sure as if you had held a gun to his head. You see, I took the trouble to check up on you after you nearly killed my father. And it's not pretty keen, it's not pretty at all. Oh, just leave me alone now, please. In fact, your record makes Lizzie Borden's look very tame. Now, have you also forgotten about Phyllis Hunt? Oh, well, who's she? A vegetable, Keen, a vegetable. She didn't do what you wanted to do, so you smashed her skull in. Oh, no! Yeah, and what about your drugs, eh? Your little rackets. They killed Mitchell's baby and put Parker in the funny farm. Oh, stop it! Oh, stop there's it! more. I'm sorry, Keen, but there's more. It must be a great shock to suddenly realise that you're responsible for so many shattered lives. Oh, no! Look, if I can only remember... You know, if I had to face the awful truth about the things I'd done, I think I might kill myself. Perhaps that's the answer for you, Keen. Take your life to make up for all the terrible things what you've done. What the hell do you think you're up to, Ferguson? Just helping your little mate through a trauma, Flynn. You've got a strange idea of what helping is. You OK? Well, there, you see. Keen, have a think about what I said, hmm? 
do realize that memory loss is very difficult to prove. Whatever I discover, it's not likely to change the length of your sentence. I just want to find out why I can't remember things, not even the bad things. Well, I'm going to have to face up to it sometime, aren't I? I'll see what I can do. Don't tell me you've been here four days, you've only been here one. You're confused because time seems longer and solitary. Another three days to go yet, at least. You don't think I spilled your food on the floor on purpose, do you? Well, it's perfectly good food. And a bit of dirt won't hurt you. You can eat it or starve. Don't talk to me like that, Keen. Obviously, four days in solitary wasn't enough for you. I think we'd better arrange for you to spill. <laughs> What is it? What's wrong? Um, I, th I was just having a bad dream, that's all. You want to talk about it? Oh, oh no. Uh, I think I just had too much to eat, Nora. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> You're sick. And you always will be. Imagination gone crazy. <laughs> you know, Keen, I feel very sorry for you. Whichever way you look at it, you're going to face bars for the rest of your life. Either here or in the asylum. I don't know which would be the worst. <laughs> but there is another way. What? Well, I've seen people die, Keen. And you know, it's not so bad. There's no more confusion, no more pain. Just sleep. It really is the only way. Because you know, Keen, there's nothing ahead for you. More pain. I'm the deputy governor. Can I help you? No, I'm sorry. I can't comment on that. No, I'm sorry. I can't say any more. Oh, so much for the power of the press. You can sit down for a moment, King. Well, are you all right? Been better, eh? Do you believe in fate, Mrs. Morris? Why do you ask? I botched it. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to do it again. I guess it's not my turn yet, eh? All right. Come on, Keen. Well, at least it's not so strange this time. Almost like coming home. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, Julie. Do you know, I just hate Reb Keen. No, you don't. You don't even know her. Yeah, it's not your fault. We all really like you the way you are now. Oh, look. You're all doing so much for me. I, I just don't deserve it. Looks as though you're going to be with us for some time. You mean they're not sending me back to Ingleside? They never were. But we thought that Mrs Reynolds told Nora they were. Then Flynn's been leading you up the wrong street. You see, those examinations you had, Keen, they were to see if you were eligible for release or not. And as usual, you failed them with flying colours. Just thought you'd like to know. Carry on. Looks like you stuffed up again, eh, Flynn? You mean we've done all that work for nothing? Oh, it's not her fault. I uh, must have misunderstood what Reynolds said. I, I'm going to say I'm sorry. You stupid bitch! You screwed the whole thing! I could have been on my way out of here! I said I was sorry. Oh, it's not much good now, is it? I'm stuck here and I'm... Oh, I'm... Sorry. So much for little Miss Innocent, eh? I don't like being made a fool of. What the hell are you on about anyway? That was some sort of stunt you pulled out there. Look, I don't know. It's like I've got no control over it. I'm sorry, Nora. 
tears are an easy way to get out of trouble. <laughs> I didn't mean it, honest. I told you what happened. <laughs> All right, I believe you. <laughs> oh, Nora, I don't want that feeling to come back. I'm so scared. Well, I don't know. I'm sorry, but I just don't know. Well, no, it's a perfectly simple question. $100,000 and a gun. Would you use it? No! No, I wouldn't. But I did, so I must be lying. So why are you wasting your time? Well, why on... wouldn't you? When you have the gun, you have an old man as a hostage. He's not going to give you any trouble, so why not? Miss Ferguson's father you're talking about. What about in here? You having any trouble with the women? No. Well, they're friendly, most of them anyway. Oh, and well, how do you deal with the others? Well, I don't know. I just... Well, I don't have much to do with them. You mean you get someone else to bash them up for you? No! Well, why not? You're the top dog, aren't you? Or you want to be? Isn't that the usual thing for the top dog to do? Yes, I suppose. The last I time mean, I not... talked to you, you told me in great detail... I know what I said! You... But I... I thought you were going to put me back in Ingalls. I... Hey, how'd it go? Good as offered me the key to the front door. Fantastic. Hey, you're on the level. You're really getting out. Well, I've still got to see Reno, but the shrink seemed like it was all set. So oh. they finally opened their eyes. Yeah, and they still can't see past their noses. Yeah. Thanks for helping me, Nora. Julie. Well, and the rest of you. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do, Red? You've still got that dough stashed away, haven't you? On from a robbery? Nah, what an old man left behind from the lifetime of lucky guesses on the stock exchange. Hey, you could go travelling or something. You know, one of them world discovery. Hey, yeah. I always wanted to go to that Disneyland place. Oh, oh, oh what's so funny about <laughs> wanting to go to Disneyland? There's no way I'm blowing it on something like that. Thought I might buy a bit of property, make the money work for me. Sounds like you got it all worked out. Too right. Getting out of this dump for good. And I'm going to make up for every second I lost time. Red, there's confidence and there's aggro. Aggro will land you back inside. Oh, no, wait. When I get out of here, I'm out for good. But the book says the more you assert yourself, the more likely you are to reject your old sin. I don't care what the book says, and I'm sick of you and you telling me how to run my life. Especially with your screwball paperback psychology. Oh, you sounded more like your old self every minute, King. I tried to tell you, didn't I, Flynn? But you were too busy lapping up a hard luck story. I am not like that, and I'm sick of people trying to tell me I am. Look, just because I'm getting a bit more confident doesn't mean that I'm going to start... Start killing people again? Shut up! All we're trying to do is point out what can happen. Drop it, will you? What's up you? Oh, nothing a trip to Blackmore wouldn't fix. What is going on in here? You're causing trouble again, Kelly. I'm just trying to get rid of it, Mrs B. Anything to do with you, Keen? Oh, the hell it is! You're as bad as the rest of them, always trying to get at me from a past record. That is not true at all. Oh, sure. I know they're thinking. She hurt Ferguson's father, so we screw her into the ground. That's it, isn't it? It certainly is not. Any more of that sort of talk and you'll be on a charge. She doesn't mean what she's saying. It's the strain of the past few weeks. Right, Reb? Yeah, that's right. I think you'd expect to hear some good news. Thanks. You haven't given us any reason to. Mrs. Morris saw you quite clearly. No, no, she's got it wrong. Look, I just found Mrs. Barry like that. Well, there must have been someone else. Or Did you see anyone in the corridor or pass no, anyone? No, no, but Mrs. Reynolds, you know what I've been through. I I've got a chance to get out now. Well, why would I blow it? It doesn't make any sense. And you've no idea where Mrs. Barry's keys are. No, you've already searched me and now I haven't got them. Perhaps you hid them. Oh, I wouldn't have had time to. Oh, Mrs. Morris, please. I swear I didn't do it. All right, Keen. You'll be taken to solitary until we're finished investigating. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no, you no, can't lock me on, up! Keen, don't oh, please! Me. But I am, I am. I couldn't have heard her like we that. We have given you every opportunity to prove yourself reform. Dr. Weissman has been professionally compromised because you chose to ignore that opportunity. Do you understand? Yes, One but... of my best officers has been brutally attacked and come very close to losing her life. I didn't do it! Now, listen... G'day, Red. How's it going? All right. Things have been happening while you've been up here. I'm top dog, man. Oh. Yeah, and you're not too popular with the women for smashing poor old Joycey's head in. Oh, but I didn't do it. I wouldn't do something like that. Well, the screws reckon you did. Oh, and the women reckon you did. 
That's why I'm here. To even up the score for poor old Joycey. What do you want? I'm oh, just checking up. Making sure that no harm comes to my favourite prisoner. Oh, yeah, sure. That's why you left Kelly here to do your dirty work. You can always tell the governor. Bitch. Not even fighting back, eh, Keen? That's a shame. Especially since you had them all fooled. Reynolds, Wiseman. But not me. I knew you couldn't keep that act up for much longer. I am not putting on an act! Oh, I know. Not any longer, you're not. Joyce Barry will tell you that, if she lives. I didn't touch her. I swear it! Tell it to the VJ, Keen. Waste his time, not mine. Anyway, looks as though you'll be going back to Blackmore pretty soon. You know, back with the hard cases. And we both know how long you'll last there, don't we? It's all right, don't get up. Yeah, so what's going on now? Where are they sending me? We're not I... sending you anywhere. Rebecca, we now know you didn't do it. I'm sorry you had to go through this. I can't promise anything except to say that I'll do everything in my power to see that you're released as soon as possible. It's going to be hard to make friends out there. Oh, everyone feels like that when they leave here, but you'll make new friends soon enough. Yeah, you everything. Oh, look, I, I know it's a chance to start over and I am going to make the best of it. Well, thanks for everything you've done for me. I'm afraid it wasn't as much as it could have been. Oh, well, at least you believed in me. Except for that business with Mrs. Barry. I guess I can't blame you for that. I suppose I'll always wonder what would have happened if that bloke hadn't left a note. I'd like to think we would have got to the truth eventually. Anyway, uh, good luck. Oh, yeah. Well, good luck to you, Mrs. Reynolds. And don't forget, you've got an appointment with Dr. Wiseman later on in the day. Yeah, don't worry. I won't forget anything. Not this time. had to sit down for a minute. I'm shaking all over. No need to be nervous about Stevens. He's one of the best doctors I know to take over your therapy. You'll get along just fine on that. Yeah, well, it's not that. It, it's the way I feel scares me. It's like I'm turning back to what I was. In what way? Well, when I found out that it was Eve Wilder who had me blamed for bashing Mrs. Barry, I wanted to get her. I'd have really hurt her, I think, if I had a chance. And that worries you. Well, yeah. Good. Because when it doesn't, you've really got something to worry about. When someone intentionally hurts us, it's only normal that we want to try and hit back at them. As it is living in a civilised society, we've got to learn to control those feelings. Some of us can, others can't. That's the big difference between the way you were and the way you are now. The old rib couldn't control those feelings, didn't even try. The new rib can. Does that make it easier? Yeah, I suppose. A bit. <laughs> Good. Hell of a big world out there. Attention, ladies. Whoa. This is Rebecca Keane. And I want you all to show the ropes. Her name's Red. What do you twist up to? Two? You know, Keane, you could do this over a favor. Yeah, I know, but I like me. You know something? You suck. Help me! It's me again. I'll make you wish you were never born. You hear?
brother. You nearly killed me, you bitch. You see, I owe you one of these. Remember? Your own Let me out. Set me up, you rotten dog. You catch on real fast, King. Feet on lots of them. Well, anybody got any complaints? Not like finished it, bitch. I'll be back. I'll be back for you. Tom, they sent me to the hospital to make me better. Wow.